So this was activity four. We put two rectangles there so that they're in the coordinates and we want them to be at zero, zero and 35350, which they are. Let's go to the next one. All right, so in this one, we want to make our three shapes look like this. So what are we going to change our fill color to? Good, yellow, not blue. Yellow, and then what's the coordinate of this rectangle right here? Well, let's run it and see what they've got for us. Okay, great. They've got two for us already. Uh, we just need to add what? Another third one, right? And what's the X value of this one going to be? Um, well, I think it's going to be 100 because it's going to be the same spot as this one. So it's lined up. So I'm going to say 100 for the X. Let's try 200. Oh, and that worked out. So, so what I'd recommend is like using that run command a lot. Like check your code, make sure it works, run it, um, reset it, change a number if you didn't like it, and you're like, ah, I think it was too close, I'm gonna rerun it at 225 or 250. And you're like, okay, that looks better. And then you can hit finish. Okay, so I'm gonna run the code again so I can see what it does. Uh, which thing should be drawn first here? Which color? Blue should be drawn first. That's correct. So we're going to just watch what I can do here. I'm going to click and highlight these and I'm going to move them up above. Okay, so now this is correct, but now it's not red. It's green and then rerun it and we should get our final answer there. So click and drag is great. Uh, for moving parts of your program around comes in really handy all right let's finish that one okay now we're using the ellipse tool and we want to make this so there's our green one um, again copy and paste is your best friend so I highlight I control C I click so that you can see the little black part where it's going to paste it and then control V and I'll paste this in place this one's gonna be yellow um, it's right in the middle what's the center point of our grid it's 200 200 so if I reset rerun should be able to get Oh yeah, that look that does look orange. Let's try that. There we go. That looks better. Yeah, I think you're yeah, goldenrod. I think that's <laughs> Again, any of those colors we used in our web um on our website stuff, those colors still work. Or we can use an RGB, which we'll get to in a little bit. All right, let's go to the next one. So this is code that doesn't work. Let's run it and see what happened. And then let's fix it. Again, should be thinking what object should I draw first? Should be the orange items. And then I need to fill purple to change my color and then draw my rectangle item. And then I need to change the coordinate so that this is in the top spot. So it's going to be at 150, 150. You can go ahead and finish. So the nice thing about each lesson is it gives you kind of an overview at the end. Like here are the things that you should have learned how to do. You should learn how to use the rectangle tool, the ellipse tool, coordinates, the fill command, and then 
That's pretty much it. So that is lesson three.